Hello and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a bit of a different video. Today I'll be going over the new Dave the Diver update trailer and breaking it down in full. Now, if you haven't seen it already, I'd recommend going and checking it out. Link's in the description below. Um, the developers posted it themselves. Um, yeah, basically, I'll be going through a bunch of different screenshots I have. I'll only be using screenshots of the video. I won't be showing the video at, or any audio from it in full. You need to check that out yourself. I'd recommend it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing I noticed in the trailer is, you look over here, and what I've highlighted in red here, is you'll see there's a new kind of seaweed that's going to be available. Um, or at least I think it's going to be available. It has a glowing harvest symbol to it. So, obviously, you know, that's going to be used in a bunch of different dishes, but I have not seen that seaweed before, and I've played 300 hours of this game, so... That's clearly new. Uh, that's by the looks of it, it's located somewhere to do with the new mission, where I guess you have m more missions in the glacial area, as these people have said. Uh, you'll see them in the bottom right corner. Those are the developers, uh, or some developers. Uh, I can't remember. They introduced themselves in the video. Go watch their video. Anyway, next things next is they introduce a crab trap. Now, the thing about the crab trap is it seems like you put you put bait in there. And the bait will attract, uh, I guess, different kinds of lobsters or shrimps, as it seems like shrimps come in here as well. So at this point, you know, you get extra lobsters, like you have a European lobster and an American lobster there. And they seem to be drawn in by red lionfish. Now, apparently you leave the trap down, and it takes a while for the lobsters to come in. But they will come in. And... This might also be able to use crabs to catch traps, crabs, I reckon. So, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, also, they're adding a lobster party. So, at this point, you're going to have to harvest extra lobsters to get an, a lobster party going. And if you want to be successful at the lobster party. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be something I look forward to. I'll be making an entire video on the lobster party when I get it going. Next week's next, it's new night species. And as you can see here, I like the night diving. The puffer fish in the middle of the screen around here. And that's new. These fish are new. I've also cropped in some extra screenshots from like uh, different areas where this seems new. Those are new. And on top of that, there's all these extra shrimp and lobsters here that are also new in, an, in the night area of the fish tank. Uh, I'll talk more about the fish tanks later, but this is a night tank, as you can tell by the Humboldt squid white jellyfish zebra sharks all that but you can also see there's these crystal lobsters fan shrimp blue lobsters and red banded something uh red banded shrimp probably but yeah as you can see over here we have quite a lot of new night species and so there's night diving is going to be a real big thing uh as well as this yeah you have some extra things on the farm like you can actually hire sammy and he will be able to do a bunch of farm work for you, which is absolutely great. As you can see below him, there's a chicken feeder, uh, which is just which appears right here. There's also an egg storage box that's quite expensive, but at the same time, you know they're going to be worthwhile additions to the farm. Now you buy the chicken feeder and egg storage box. The chicken feeder has a bit more of an interface shown here where you get some chicken feeds that you can put into the chicken feeder. Now, by the looks of it, this will increase egg production rate. So where eggs were typically very slow beforehand, they're going to be less slow now because you can put high quality chicken feed in your chicken feeder and you have an egg storage box at the same time. So you're going to be able to get a lot more automation out of your eggs. Over here, we've been showing that the Marinka will get a new boss. Now, this boss looks pretty terrifying. It looks like a, a shark with squid appendages, like some kind of mutant thing. I look forward to fighting it. Next thing's next is a new uh, NPC, like a VIP. So this VIP is going to be requesting a dish. No idea what this dish is going to be, but the VIP is going to be requesting it. It also seems like I don't recognize this blue um, banner thing here. So... It could be a potential that there's also going to be new cosmetics for the sushi bar. This, but yeah, this new MP, like this new VIP, 
he's going to turn into the traveling merchant. Now, the traveling merchant, as you can see, there's actually a new ingredient here, truffle. So that's an interesting thing. Uh, but also, at the same time, he's going to sell, like, you know, some dispatch ingredients and farm ingredients. But obviously at a very quite inflated price. But the main thing is he sells secret recipes. Now, these secret recipes, there's probably quite a few of them. We've only got one reveal to us so far, which is the soy sauce marinated crab. But as you can see, it says sold out, so you have to keep having him come back in and buying all his secret recipes. Um, and by the looks of it, it's like horsehair crab, snow crab, and yellow king crab marinated in boiling soy sauce. So three different types of crab and a boiling soy sauce for that one. Um, these crabs aren't in the game yet, but they will be by the time the update releases. So that's something to look out for. These new recipes... They might just be new ingredients, but they also could be old ingredients. So we don't know what these new recipes will be. And also by the looks of it, maybe his name's Django. Anyway, not the point. Next slide, fish farm improvements. Now, as you'll see, the blue spotted stargazer and giant spider crab are now actually in the fish farm. So you can actually farm previously unfarmable fish. On top of that, we see some new species of crab and shrimp here, or lobster and shrimp here, like as I highlighted in red. On top of that, on the fish farm, it seems like, yeah, here's the horsehair crab and the snow crab and golden king crab. But now you might be a bit confused by this um, tank. You might think, ah, they added a crab tank, but they haven't. What they've done is they actually updated all the textures or the background images for the all the existing tanks to add a little shelf here because this is still the 400 540 meter it's still a 540 meter area so like you know you'd have all your other animals up here but there's added a little shelf so all your crabs can walk along it you'll see this in actually the night zone and the one i just showed on top of that you also have seed upgrades going so basically, instead of just planting your seeds, you'll see here, like, there's an additional harvest chance, 30%, and you can upgrade all your seeds. Now, this looks like they're, they're just showcasing this from an early game. I reckon there might be a way to upgrade your later game seeds as well, but these are the first five that you'll see. And also, by the looks of it, when you upgrade them, you have a uh, researching going on, so that will be blinking. Like, I'm not sure if this is, like, morning, afternoon, night, you have to like wait a whole day for it to research, or if you have to wait three days for it to research. But by the looks of it, you're going to have to wait. It's not just an instant thing. Uh, next thing's next, they have the operator. Now the operator has uh, apparently abilities, I'm not quite sure what they mean by them. Like, you're going to have to check that out yourself in the video. Uh, apparently like checking out what events are going on in the blue hole, hole and whatnot and getting your fortune told. They also mentioned something like, about promo codes where you can claim promo codes in like I guess this claim reward section. You type in a promo code and you get something in game. Now I don't know what these sign in games could be. Perhaps it could be those cosmetics I was talking about earlier. Perhaps it could be something else. I don't know. But yeah this seems like an interesting thing that they've added. They've added a new contact to your phone. This is new contact. And their functionality you will have to find out more about when it's time. And finally, the other thing I think I might as well mention at the end. They're actually nerfing the pressure shark. Like, now, I've shanked this thing to death with a knife many, many times. But I've seen plenty of people on the forums complaining about how it is quite painful to get away from like i mean even i take a few hits from it when i'm trying to swim past i just i, I don't want to deal with this guy like you know well, this, uh, this i i just want to get the agar off to the right here i don't want to have to kill this but a lot of times i end up having to kill it because it's just too aggressive it gets too near me too up in my face too long range too much damage but they changed all of that apparently it's going to follow you less like from less range deal less damage and charge at you slower so you really can't complain there but yeah, that's about it for this video. This has been a full breakdown of the content update trailer. So yeah, this will basically be what's going on and what's going to be added. It seems like there's a lot going to be added. Because uh, there was a lot that I just talked about here. Like you've got the new seaweed, lobster box, lots of party, night diving, has more things. 
upgrades to your farm, a new boss, a new VIP, the VIP sells new recipes, the fish farm has been improved, seeds can be upgraded as an operator, and of course a shark nerf. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope you have a good day.